Good day everyone, I'm Sir RJ Layson, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about simplifying rational algebraic expressions. We need to recall that a rational number is a number that can be written as one integer divided by another integer, such as 1 divide 2 or 1 half. We usually use the word fraction to mean one half. This means this idea can be extended to, al to the algebraic expression. A rational expression is a polynomial by another polynomial, such that x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3 or x plus 1 over 2x plus 3. For example, you know that the fraction of 15 over 20 is equivalent to 3 fourths, right? And can be simplified in the following manners. So, for the 15 over 20, their common denominator here is 5. So, we can factor 15 by 3 times 5. And for 20, we have 4 times 5, right? So, since we have here 5 over 5, we can simplify this one as to 1, right? So the remaining factors now, or the re remaining fraction form, is 3 fourths times 1. So the result here, or the simplest form for 15 over 20, is 3 fourths. The process of simplifying rational algebraic expression is similar to simplifying fractions. That is, we, we write the rational algebraic expression so that the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than 1. Steps on simplifying rational expressions. First, we need to factor completely the numerator and denominator. Second, separate and divide out common factors if there is or are any. And third, multiply the remaining factors. Example number one. Write the rational expression 28x cubed over 7x raised to 4 into simplest form. First step, we need to factor completely the numerator and denominator. So for 28x cubed, we can factor that one as 4 times 7x cubed, right? And for 7x raised to 4, we can factor this one as x times 7x cubed. So uh, notice that they have the same uh, other factors, 7x cubed and 7x cubed, or their GCMF for both 28x cubed and 7x raised to 4. Separate and divide out the common factors. So we have 4 over x times 7x cubed over 7x cubed. And then we multiply the remaining factors. So we can simplify this one 7x cubed over 7x cubed into 1. So we have 4 over x times 1. So the simplest form for 28x cubed over 7x raised to 4 is 4 over x. Example number 2. Write the rational expression 3x minus 12 in sim at minus 12 over 5x minus 20 in simplest form. First, we need to factor completely the numerator and denominator. So you look at the numerator. So what for 3x minus 12, what is their GCMF? That is 3, right? And then to get the other factor, we have 3x divide 3, we have x. Negative 12 divide 3, we have negative 4. For 5x minus 20, their GCMF is 5, right? So to, to find the other factor, just divide 5x divide 5, you get x. And negative 20 divide 5, we have negative 4. Notice that they have now uh, common factors or the other factors which is x minus 4 and over x minus 4. Now, next, we need to separate and divide out the common factors. So, we have 3 over fifths times x minus 4 over x minus 4. We can equal this one into 1. Multiply the remaining factors. So, we have 3 fifths times 1. We have the simplest form for 3x minus 12 over 5x minus 20 is 3 fifths. Write the rational expression x squared plus xy plus y squared over x cubed minus y cubed in simplest form. So factor completely the numerator and denominator. Now, 
notice in the denominator and the numerator, uh, we can simplify the numerator here or we cannot factor the numerator here, right? Or we can factor it by 1 actually. But in the denominator, you look at the denominator, it is a difference of two cubes class. We need to recall that the difference of two cubes, as long as we have the first term a perfect cube and the second term also is a perfect cube, we can form this one into a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So now, x cubed minus y cubed now is the factor for that is x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. We need to separate and divide the out the common factor. So as I said, as I've, as I've said earlier, that in the numerator, we can factor this one as 1, right? And then in the denominator, we have x minus y. And their common factors here is x squared plus xy plus y squared. And for the denominator, we have x squared plus xy plus y squared. We can simplify this one into 1. And then multiply the remaining factors. We have now 1 over x minus y times 1. Thus, 1 over x minus y is the simplest form of x squared plus xy plus y, y squared over x cubed minus y cubed. You need to remember and to memorize uh, the difference of two cubes, the sum of two cubes, and also the difference of two squares. Example number four, we need to write the rational expression p cubed plus q cubed over p squared minus q squared in simplest form. Factor completely the numerator and denominator. Now, as of you noticed in the numerator, the uh, it is an example of a difference of two, uh, sum of two cubes. And in denominator is an example for a difference of two squares, right? So all we need to do is we need just need to follow the patterns for the sum of two cubes. For the sum of two cubes, we have since we have p cubed plus q cubed, now we have p plus q times p squared minus p times q plus q squared. For the p squared minus q, q squared is a difference of two square. So the pattern here is p plus q times p minus q. Separate and divide out the common factors. Since they have the common factors as p plus q over p plus q and the other factors is p squared minus pq plus q squared over pq. So we can simplify this one as 2, 1. Now the remaining factors now is p squared minus p times q plus q squared over p minus q times 1. Thus, p squared minus pq plus q squared over p minus q is the simplest form of p cubed plus q cubed over p squared minus q squared. Here, we can also encounter simplifying a rational algebraic expression. For your denominator here, we, we can factor it out by negative 1. So for example, we have here, right, the rational expression x minus y over y minus x in simplest form. Factor completely the denominator and denominator by factoring negative 1 in the denominator. Now, as you've noticed here in the given rational expression, we can rearrange this one uh, by uh, putting uh, the value of x in the first term and then so we can change this one into x minus y and your denominator is negative x plus y, right? Now, we can factor this one to negative 1 so that we can have so negative 1 divide negative x uh, negative x divide negative 1 so we have positive x and positive y divide negative 1 is negative y so that we can have the common factor the same with the numerator which is x minus y so they have the same now common factor so separate and divide out the common factors so for the numerator, we can factor this one as 1 times x minus y. And for denominator, we have negative 1 times x minus y. So since they have the both 
common factors, we can simplify this one into 1. So we have now multiply the remaining factors. We have 1 times negative 1 times 1. So 1 times uh, 1 divide negative 1 is negative 1. Thus, negative 1 is the simplest form of x minus y over y minus x. Example number 6, we need to write the rational expression 3x minus 9 over 12 minus 4x in the simplest form. Factor completed the numerator and denominator by factoring. So we have here, just for me ha, so uh, for me to easily factor the given uh, the given uh, algebraic expression, I will arrange that one in following x first and then the next terms na lang. Same with the numerator. So since we have here tx minus 9 over 12 minus 4x, so the common uh, GCMF for 3x minus 9, we have 3. 3x divide 3, we have x. Negative 9 divide 3, we have negative 3. And in the denominator, we can arrange this one as negative 4x plus 12. So... Uh, we need to factor it by negative 4 so that we have we can have the common factor as x also minus 3. So negative negative 4x divide negative 4 is positive x. Positive 12 divide negative 4 is negative 3. So as you've noticed, they have the same common factors now, which is x minus 3 over x minus 3. And the other factor is 3 over uh, negative uh, 4. So, x minus 3 divide x minus 3 is equal to 1. We can multiply the remaining factors now so that we does negative 3 over 4 is the simplest form of 3x minus 9 over 12 minus 4x. Example number 7, write the rational expression x squared plus 5x minus 14 over 4 minus x squared in the simplest form. So, factor out in the denominator to negative 1 so that we can have a positive value of our x here. So, for negative, denominator now is negative 1 times x squared minus 4. And for the numerator, we can factor that 1 into x minus 2 times x plus 7 since negative 2 times positive 7 is negative 4 and negative 2 plus positive 7 is positive 5. Now, as you've noticed also in the denominator, this is a perfect square binomial where x squared is a perfect square and 4 also is a perfect square. Thus, we can uh, change this one in the form x minus 2 times x plus 2. So, we need to separate and divide out the common factors, which is x minus 2. We have now x plus 7 over negative 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 2 divide x minus 2. x minus 2 divide x minus 2 is equal to 1. We can multiply now the other factors. So now we have thus x plus 7 Negative x plus 7 over x plus 2 is the simplest form of x squared plus 5x minus 14 over 4 minus x squared. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something out of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have questions and then comments, you can comment down. Thank you so much again and goodbye everyone.